We're back with the one and only Ashley Sorensen. We saw some delicious chili. Now it's time for some great desserts with a little bit of a healthy uh, kick or side to them. So Ashley, what do you have for us? Yeah, so black beans were the star of our last recipe. So we're going with black beans still. So we're making fudgy healthy brownies. Um, I didn't want to even put black beans in the recipe name because I don't want other people to know, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> It'll be our secret, okay? <laughs> you, know, you read black bean, you're like, uh, I'm out right away. So uh, black beans, they're the star again in these brownies. And I drained them and then rinsed them and put them in my Vitamix. And you can see it's like a, a paste. It kind of looks like hummus, but just black beans. And then, you know, being this is Meatless Monday, um, we're not using any eggs. So instead of eggs, um, the recipe I put and gave you guys uses flaxseed, but guess what? I didn't have flaxseed, <laughs> but I did have chia seeds. So chia seeds, if you've ever seen, they're like these tiny little seeds. They're a ton packed um, with protein. I have made a recipe with pudding on air before too, but I just add two tablespoons of those with five tablespoons of water and it actually makes like kind of gels into like an egg. Um, I'll show you kind of, you know, like the egg white almost. Wow. Yeah. But anyway, that is substitutes for our eggs. So whether you use flax or chia seeds, it's the exact same amount. So I put that in there and then we're using cocoa powder. So unsweetened, just regular baking cocoa powder. And okay, I have, these are so good. Um, <laughs> just have to brag a little bit. The brownies are so um, good, huh? No refined sugar. Wow. So by refined sugar, there's no processed sugar. So I'm using pure maple syrup and we're using a whole cup of it. So I'm just gonna pour that in. And then also for the flour. So we already used our cocoa powder, but next we are using, you can use regular flour but what I do, this is really easy, is take my oats, so you have gluten-free flour. You take oatmeal, you blend it, and you get oat flour. Wow. So you don't have to go buy oat flour, you just make your own. And you could use regular flour if you wanted, you could use, you know, like a whole wheat flour, but, you know, oat flour, I like that. So gluten-free, dairy-free, we, we got it all covered here. <laughs> A little vanilla, vanilla extract. And then we have some baking powder, sea salt, and then coffee. And so I'm not sure if you've ever seen a recipe before that calls for coffee with chocolate, but you don't taste the coffee at all, even though I, I do love coffee. We'd have to put a lot of coffee in here for it to taste like coffee. But the coffee actually brings out that chocolate flavor. So. Um, we'll just mix this up. You know, you can use your mixer. You can just do it by hand. Mm -hmm. I actually poured all of my liquid ingredients into my Vitamix last night when I was making these. So I wanted to have you guys be able to see what these actually look like because right now this doesn't look too appetizing. <laughs> it smells great, but our finished product, so good, Chris. You're going to need this. Wow. They are, this plate is really heavy, <laughs> but they are super dense. Um, you put it in the oven for uh, 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. At 40 minutes, they're really fudgy. So I put it in for another 10. So 50 minutes. And that was in my, oh my goodness. I forgot one ingredient. We can't forget this. Coconut oil. Ah. Okay. So it starts as a solid. I melted it pour that in here and you know you could use regular vegetable oil I'm not a fan of other vegetable oil but I'm a fan of coconut oil there we go this stirs way better <laughs> <laughs> so you know, no so fail you're gonna leave something out what do they taste like legitimately like brownies or so good yeah um wow. and then oh I mix some chocolate chips in with it so I'll stir some in there some chocolate, one cup of chocolate chips, and then I use dairy-free ones, but you can use whatever you'd like. And then I even like sprinkled some on top, so if you can kind of see, there's nice. You know, 
but I, I wish I was in the studio. <laughs> you guys these. They're so good. <laughs> we do too. Hopefully that'll happen sooner rather than later. But you were like a food magician today, going from eggs to chia to oat flour to, I mean, right. I was like, holy cow. <laughs> well, you know, and if you don't have those things, you know, you can use eggs. So the, the recipe is pretty versatile where you can mix and match some things. You know, even if you didn't want to use oil at all, you could use applesauce or you could use our pumpkin puree. So I'm all about, you know, finding substitutions, finding what works for you. And, you know, again, these recipes are really cheap. Um, you know, so it's probably even cheaper than buying a box of brownies. Yeah. So and it's better for you. And Kendra, the 10 year old who is a pretty picky eater, she approved. Of the brownies. Of the brownies, yeah. Oh, that's good to know. She's, she's like, can I have another one? <laughs> that, that's a good sign. I keep waiting so, for you to like pull a rabbit up from under your <laughs> desk, though, the way you've been going this morning. But uh, Ashley, we've got to wrap it up there. Thank you so much. You can check out, obviously, the recipes on our website, uh, ndtoday.tv. Great stuff. We look forward to having you back, okay? Thanks, Chris. Thank you. All right, stick around. we got much more coming up right after this.